hard to see. Yeah. I was talking to Mike about getting uh, like a custom one, uh, like a Black Sonic one, but yeah. it's pretty expensive to get a custom one. So once we get our storefront up, maybe maybe we'll get a few of them and we can sell some of them. I don't know how great they'll sell, but you know, somebody might want one. And orange is kind of like one of our site theme colors anyway, so that would be good. Yeah, it's nice having the drop bars because then like you can like mix up your position, position yeah. yeah. Next time I should bring a towel. <laughs> and not wear pants when it's... No, I use my face, that's all. <laughs> Yeah. Construction. Huh? Yeah, well, I think it's for the light rail. But I'm not sure. Oh, what I was saying is all the water bottles have either um, tailwind or um, or uh, liquid IV in them. Oh. Does it taste like anything or no? The tailwind um, is is unflavored, but it's sweet. I mean, you can, it's sweet. Yeah, it's you know, there's it's. All those energy drinks are basically just sugar. <laughs> uh, some, you know, honey and water is a cheap version of it, or an expensive version, potentially depending on what you're comparing to. But you know, huh? What about bike shorts? Oh yeah, I've got a pair. I'm not used to like. You got a super like cushy saddle. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, people that ride a lot, they get very specific about like what they like and But I, I wasn't there yet, you know with this bike. I wasn't I mean, that's one reason I didn't want to spend You know multi thousand dollars because it's just like I just don't know And it's like the idea is kind of that I'm buying it for New Orleans, but it's like I need to ride it like like most of my riding is not going to be that kind of ride so i may decide to get a different bike uh but are we going where are we going to st louis park yeah well we're not in st louis park yet <laughs> but, but um yeah the idea will be to go to hopkins i don't know how fast you want to go but if we don't make it to the depot, then we can just turn around. Yeah. This is a nice ride, though. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't think there's many particular climbs going all the way to the depot. But uh, like, if you go to Eden Prairie, there's some pretty. There, there's some pretty uh some pretty beefy hills if you go to Eden Prairie. Um but uh yeah, I don't think, I don't think we'll have much of anything to deal with. Let's see how fast we're going. We are averaging 8.4 miles per hour. 
my, my ride yesterday I averaged 15.2 or 15.3 over the course of the 30 miles. So this is the light rail stuff right here? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We haven't gotten to where they've closed it off yet, but up here, I don't know, like, I mean, when it was just me, I was just blind. I was, on the weekends, I was just going through the closed off portion. I think that's what most people were doing. Um, Cause I mean, they're not working and the, it's fine. Like the trail not in bad shape. There's no real reason for it to be closed during the weekend. Um, but uh, we can take a det the detour route if you like. Or maybe it's open back up. I don't know, you know, it's kind of gonna be like moving target. What about it? Well, that's why I was telling you that like, you know, if you're just spinning, it's like, you don't go anywhere. Dobby said I shouldn't be in three. Well, maybe it's geared such that three is a good gear for you. I mean, okay. I think we're probably going downhill a little bit right now anyway, so. One of the detours over. They have a they have a map. Where's that go? I don't know. I haven't taken the detours yet. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like I said on River Road, I was going 19 miles per hour yesterday, so. I've never been on that section over there. So I guess it goes to the Worth Parkway though. I don't know how fast that I'll wanna go when I go to New Orleans. It's hard to judge because there are just like so many damn people in the way yesterday and like going on summit I think really slowed me down because of all the stoplights. So today um, I'm going to assume we're not going to go far enough to get all my miles in. So I'll just probably do the same route that I was planning to do later and then um, I'll get a better sense perhaps. Because it's going to be hotter today, so hopefully that means less people. Of course, it also means I might be slower. But, like, I learned that I can go fast enough that even in that heat, I don't need the... I don't need the backpack. Like, I... I ha my Camelback was almost completely full when I got back. And then I had water in a water bottle, too, so I can just carry less and go faster. I'll definitely need to get like fingerless gloves for the New Orleans trip though. Because A, gloves are super, like the padding like keeps your wrists from and hands from getting numb and then this is just too hot. <laughs>
What's what? Oh, that's an old depot. Uh, it's a Cedar Line depot. Linden Yard. An old, you know, the hipsters haven't gotten to all the old yards. So. Well, you know, like they like to turn those into like coffee shops and stuff. That'd be great. <laughs> well, that's what the depot is. I mean, it's an old train thing that like they've turned into a coffee shop. Looks like a baseball field to me, but um, can't really see. <laughs> I don't know how many people actually do that. Huh. Is this where yeah, because they want us on the on the walking path. But see, people aren't actually doing it. So, up to you. What? If we go straight, then, uh, I mean, we just, we save some time, not, I mean, the detour is just like right over there. <laughs> and you can see, like, they haven't started, like, doing anything to this. So no real reason for it to be closed. I say we go to that side of park and turn back. Okay. I've been gone 28 minutes. Well, from when I started the timer, 28 minutes. When you start the timer? Like, well, I auto paused at some point, I think, but we've been four miles. This is like longer. <laughs> it's because it's hot as a motherfucker, Wendy, I tried to tell you. That's why I wanted to go early. Well, you can like finish this bike ride later. I contemplated riding the fat bike, but I was like, well, I need to... Uh... I'm not used to biking at all. Yeah. Um, I, I need to be on this bike to like, you know, if I'm gonna, if I'm thinking about riding it, you know, for up to St. Louis Park and such, I'm gonna be on it a lot, so. And I don't need to kill my legs for the rest of the, I rode that fat bike enough for the month of July, I think. <laughs> you turn right. Yeah, where that like walker is. Don't try to like cut it at too hard of an angle or your wheel will get stuck in the train tracks and you'll fall. arrow I guess people can still pass. I would say it's like we have this whole path for and then the people going the other way or on the other side. Oh yeah. Well. And then the runners are down there, you can yeah. see. <laughs> 
probably go in 10, I would guess. Maybe she plans on landing on her butt. Just like you dug it. Her thighs are bigger than yours. Well, you're still faster than John. Okay, that's good. I think well I just eyeballed it but it was like 6.7 miles per hour or something and we're going 8.4 so. I literally would like pedal and then not pedal <laughs> and just like coast <laughs> for like it was like one pedal a minute <laughs> can't do this. <laughs> There's a well thingy. Water fountain, yeah. 